Oh. Yes, thank you. Do you need an action? Of course I do. I always need an action. Action. Hey, everyone. Hi, guys. How's everyone doing? Welcome back. Hello. Our subscribers Hello. and our viewers, Hello. welcome back. Good day. Good day. Good day. Good LA. day. L what? It's a thing. It's a show. Okay. You're not and culture? to everyone <laughs> just tuning in for the first time, welcome, but we will introduce ourselves. Hello. Oh, my turn. <laughs> I'm Sierra. <laughs> Stop. I'm trying to do my introduction. Okay, okay, do it, do it. Take Jeez. Two. Go, go, go. I'm Sierra. I'm Stan. And you're watching the Hardly <laughs> Famous. Take two, take two. Okay, okay. This is reminding me of, J of when Jimmy what? kept interrupting Matt. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Sorry. Okay, okay. I'm Sierra. I'm Stan. And you're watching the, the Hardly, Hardly Famous vlog. Jinx. 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 Nope. I won. No. I won. God damn it. It's a little aggressive. Hi. Today is Friday, and on it's Fridays Friday. for us, it's Creative Minds Friday. Mm -hmm. Creative. Now, uh, keeping uh, in the uh. spirit of yes. the Oscars that happened last week, yes. we decided Oscars. today to talk about award shows. Mm -hmm. We're going to focus on the Oscars today because that yes, is something that has happened. And um, one of the things to know is regarding to the Oscars is that it is ran by a bunch of white men. I'm kidding. It is. It's a bunch of white men in Dakota Fanning. It's true though. I'm kidding. They I'm have kidding. a black president. Who saw that coming? And oh. she has the same first name as my mother. I didn't see that coming. Wow. So with the Oscars, one of the things that we noticed is yes. that the Oscars are the time where, you know, obviously it's the highest award that you can get as an actor. Mm -hmm. And it's one of those times where you look at these movies that you never heard of mm. until like at the end of the year when they do announce no actually no they wait till the following year but at the end of the year mm. when it's kind of like you know all the other award shows are starting to announce their nominations mm -hmm. then you start looking like hmm maybe I should start looking at these movies yeah and then you start looking at the movies if you have the money to mm. and you're thinking well how on earth is this you know because there were some movies that were nominated that I'm like really Sure. Like, Same. Or some people that are, who were nominated. I was like, really? Yeah. Like, really? Like, like one of the things. What is what is the thing that shocks you the most when it comes to the Oscars? Ooh. What? What? Okay. A lot of times, it's the same people getting nominations. Mm -hmm. It's the same type of. Um, it's just like the same type of themes that get recognized. Like, for example, every year there's a war epic. There's some type, and there's always some type of. Um, it was a lot this year. Yeah. But usually there's always one coming of age story that gets nominated. There, there, there was a lot always. of them. There was a lot of them this year, I you think. Know what's, you know what there's, shocks me mm -hmm. is that every year there's barely a comedy that mm -hmm. makes it it's into, true. you know. It's the, true. And for anybody who thinks that Manchester by the Sea is a comedy, it is not. It's not it's a, a comedy. It's a freaking drama. It's a drama. You may have laughed. Several times during yeah. the film, but it's a fucking drama. It is. Get that shit straight. I'm it just, is. I'm sorry. I, I just it was one of those things where like that was that that seemed to be the lightest mm -hmm. of the categories, mm -hmm. and you just look you're like. Mm -hmm. Now for people who are thinking that in terms of comedies, well, animated features, well, that's different. It is. That's it's a, a different. First of all, it's an animated. It's an feature. animated feature. Of course, they're supposed to have some sort yeah. of good. The feel. only really, the last time an animated feature was actually put into the category with other motion films was oh, Beauty yeah. and the Beast. Wait, no, there was something else that was Best Picture too, like a what few else? years ago. I don't remember. But like anybody, five years ago or ten years. Ago? It was a few years ago where it was in literally in the Best Picture category. Oh, really, and it was an yeah. animated feature. It was an animated feature. Yeah, I can't remember. What it was. I don't remember. Was, but it was something else. Was it Mulan? Like, no. Was it? It was, it was like, it was probably in the, I don't know. I'll mm -hmm. look it up. Anyway, though, but usually that's why they have a category. Mm -hmm. the animated features go in the animated feature category, guys. And it's always fun to kind of do, like, your mm -hmm. Oscar predictions. True. And this, or just predictions in general for award shows. It's I was always surprised, fun to do I it. was surprised looking at the, uh, the list, um... For the the um, I was actually surprised looking at like original screenplay, adapted screenplay, and looking at those ones. There are there are ones where like you're like yeah I got it like mm -hmm. for for um 
Like oh, the lobster. Yeah. Did you see the lobster? No. That had a brilliant script to it. Okay, you. I remember you texting me that. Like, it's mm-hmm. either gonna be. It was you texting me two scripts. So I was like, there's no way this is gonna win. Yeah, yeah. No, like, there's yeah, no way. And yeah. I was like, let me tell you why. Like, yeah. I just made it simple. And then you just explained, it and I was like, oh, you're right. Never mind. I was like, never mind. I was like, it wasn't to shut you down or anything, but it was just like. But it was true. Though. It was one of those things where it's like you look at it because, um, the biggest. I would say there was like three movies that are like the biggest of the night that everybody was just like gung ho for. Mm-hmm. And it was La La Land, La La Land Moonlight, Moonlight, and uh, Manchester by the Sea. Mm-hmm. Those are the three movies that everybody was like gung ho for. Like one of these mm-hmm. are going to win something. All three were independent films too. All they three were independent, independent films. artsy films. And what was funny was. This was, I will say, this was a huge year for independent films. I would say, really you was. know what's so interesting? Mm-hmm. I thought it was very interesting that they kept pointing out that Amazon Studios is the first first streaming service production company that has gone to this point Mm -hmm. because they do have Amazon does did have some shows at the Globes they had some stuff at SAG Mm -hmm. they had some stuff at other places but this is the first year that that a streaming service has been um, a part of a nominated film or a nominated Mm -hmm. project or has been nominated in that regard um, so I thought that was very interesting because they Amazing. did Manchester by the Sea. Mm-hmm. Um, but my thing, I had a feeling throughout the entire night that La La Land was not going to get all the awards that they got because I watched the red carpet beforehand and they yeah. had somebody on the show come and say that you have to pick that for La La Land in order to win all the nominations that they got you have to pay attention specifically to the technical awards. Mm-hmm. If they don't hit any of them, then they're out. They're, yeah. they're, it's, it's gone. So that was true when you looked at it, because specifically mm-hmm. you say costume design and um, sound and sound editing and sound mixing. mixing. Those were the categories that if they didn't win anything regarding it, that they would have been out. Mm-hmm. Um, which I was like, oh yeah, that's true. But I mean, they ended up getting the most of the night with six. They did. They took six last night. They took six last night. Um, you know, obviously they almost took seven, but... <laughs> so, so, what is, so regarding that, what yeah. is your opinion? When you see things like that, how do you think it affects... In that it, award? It, in it, the, it, in that just just in an award show First atmosphere, of all, how do you think that affects, you know, as far as the... Um, integrity of the show and what that sends a message to young actors who are coming up and see that this is a possibility that can happen to them because you did have a lot of you're talking about the mix-up that happened the mix-up that happened yeah that that, that happened like what do you think that sends as far as honestly first of all a lot for professionalism the sense of if there was any award ceremony not to fuck up yeah of all the ones that fucked up, really, the Oscars. And if, and if, and mind you, it could have been any other category. Yeah. Any other category. Okay, if it had been any of the acting categories, that's just, you can't come back from that, honestly. Humiliated. Um, the other categories, yeah, but of all categories, you choose the last one, the most important one of the night, best picture. Honestly, I think it shows, well, first of all, it does show that um, accidents can happen. Nothing's perfect, I will say that. I think it'll also say a lot about um, a person's integrity and the sense of what they can deal with because I felt incredibly bad for both parties. Mm -hmm. One, because La La Land, they were so happy, they were in the middle of their speeches and they had to give their Oscars back. Yeah. And we're like, what? And then Moonlight was completely, I mean, I mean, they had their, they had like, you know, a couple minutes left, but they, it's like they, 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 they had like their moment taken away from them as well. I think so, and it yeah. just it just looked nasty. It yeah. looked nasty. It really looked just like they looked. I will say I was so proud because they were hugging, they were congratulating mm-hmm. each other, they were comforting each other, and I was like, as a viewer, it gives me hope in the sense of people you work with and the um, artism versus the business side. Yeah, that they are still people in this business who are incredibly artsy, who are incredibly giving, mm-hmm. and who are about the art of it and that are humane but still have a lot of humanity where a lot of that can be lost in this business I think so for me that showed comfort in that sense I agree it's one of those moments where you just kind of look at it and you're like are you you feel bad for both sides because La La Land if they did really win it was deserving Mm -hmm. Um, you know and they they worked for it they worked for it and they They were so humbled about it they were 
and then to have that moment taken away from them yeah you know in the middle of it of, of course say all the steve harvey jokes you want yeah um to have that in the middle taken away from them th- that's just incredibly heartbreaking but yeah. on the flip side of that to have moonlight be the actual winners mm-hmm. and to see this moment play out for them and to have the, the, the producers of La La Land be like, no, we're serious. We lost. You guys are the real winners. Right. This is get the up part. here. Get, here. The, get up here. This is what, this is yours. Like, mm-hmm. you know, and even the, yeah. the even the, the first they producer, didn't Jordan, the movie, yeah. I think that was his name. He was mm-hmm. saying that because he's been doing so much press with the Moonlight guys and everybody has seen the movie, he was incredibly stoked like once the kind of shock slightly went away mm. that they were the actual like he thought it was actually deserving yeah. you know type of thing yeah. so to, it's like no come up here but to have but again having the moment from moonlight where they didn't they are the real winners but they didn't get the opportunity to have that announced yeah. initially that, that is heartbreak that's that is also heart- heartbreak that is because awesome. you just look at them and they're all looking at each other like this is a what? joke right like- and then are you giving us like, your awards? It's like, no, no, it's like, you no. want it. You want it. Here, Look, take there it. There was a fuck up. And this is to, yours. And then to have them come up here, and I think they said that all the La La Land people just went backstage um, once they gave the awards to the Moonlight people, mm-hmm. and then it was just, it was just a dark night. And I just thought that it is something that is, when you're looking at that for someone who is trying to get into this business, you you get scared at the idea that moments like that would be taken from yeah, you. Yeah, because these moments don't come once in a while. And, and especially on Take, live TV yeah. where it's like you wish you had that uh-huh. that moment and you're just like, I don't I don't understand. Like how can in the moment you're like, I don't understand how you could fuck up so badly. But at the end of the day you're kinda like, you know what? It's it's it is it, it happened. It is what it is. It happened. I still won. I still got this you know, I do. I wish I had that moment where, like, my name was called and things like that. Yeah, sure. But you know, I think at the end of the day, it's just kind of like you just have to think about it. It's true. In terms of, you know, so it's true. But and because mm, it, it was just, it was just such a yeah nasty little situation. But it could have been, it could have been nasty. Yeah. But because they were such been, humble yeah. people. They, they they made they actually made the moment I think very um what could you see it could have turned into something bigger if that stage hand didn't come out and say no no this is what it is it could, it could have, have been um they believe them like it could have been like, a, it could have turned into an entire scandal uh-huh. and then it could have turned into something where like you know well, why weren't they on top of this you know mm-hmm. and then to have the ceremony be over and like the next day have to award you know the producers of a movie for something that was theirs in the first place and have to go through all that and then because of all the tension that is happening in this country you look at both movies you look at who is producing them and it's kind of like well this is this and and it just turns into an entirely bigger mess than what they what ended up happening was which was no 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 we need to fix this right away like somebody get out there and hand them the real card type of thing so that's true but on that note on that note it was a very I think good year I think good year I think a lot of people got recognized this year and a lot of independent projects a lot of great stories were acknowledged and we had a lot of history being made for example we had an LGBT um ethnically ambiguous film win best picture we had an original movie musical mm-hmm. nominated and took a lot of awards. You that hasn't happened first, for a long they, time. I think they also said um, Mahershala Ali was the first Muslim actor to to win, to not only be nominated but to, no to win. Really? To win uh, an award? Yeah. An Oscar that's award. amazing. Mm-hmm. That's amazing. And that's then, oh my god. That's legit history right there. Yeah. My goodness. And then, um, yeah. yeah. And then finally, Emma Stone got something. And Viola Davis oh, finally Viola got Davis. something. <laughs> That's an entire oh, video. That, that is an entire, an entire video. God bless. Well, wait, if you liked this video, we liked what we talked about, especially for the Oscars. If you liked what we brought up and things like that. There's a little button right here. It's underneath. a subscribe yep. button. Please push that. If, the, if you... If you... If you... If you, if you, if you want to subscribe to if, this channel. And, and if you want to see more of us talking about industry things and yeah. all the other fun stuff. 
That's the button you press. Over here, there's a like button. There's a like button. If you like this video, if you like it, it, if you just click it. it, that's it. If, if you, you loved liked it. it, if you loved it, come to our house. I'm kidding. Yeah. <laughs> no, don't do that. Um, but um, if you loved it, there's a comic section right here. You can tell us how much you loved it. You, tell us. Tell us how. You, you can tell them how. You can tell tell us how much you love what we're talking about, mm -hmm. or if there's things that you want us to talk about, or if this just really touched you in a way, in the sense of like this or, is. Or something... if you had your own opinions yes. about the Oscars and what you thought, and if you thought that. The, what happened, you know, is something that should be talked about more or something that should kind of be let go. It's it's done, it's done, and, you know, mm -hmm. bye type of thing. It's bye. Whatever you, whatever you want. Also in the description box, we mm -hmm. have our social media handles for Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. Follow those if you want behind the scenes updates and just, you know, want to see us outside of this channel. Yes. On and that note, we will see you again next week. Thank you so much, everyone. Yes. And remember, subscribe, like, comment. We'll see you next Friday. Ooh. Shall we do an outro? Yes, we shall. What do you want to do? Oh, let me practice my speech. Okay, so um, for my future Oscar. Okay, so first thing I have to ask, I have to thank, um, who do I have to thank? How do you start this? How do you start this? You thank the Academy. Thank the Academy, first of all. Thank you, the Academy. Thank you to all the other nominees in my category. Thank Come back here. We're talking. We're talking. And then producers, director, writer, other cast members, family. I think you ended with family, I think.